What's going on, guys? Um, yeah, we're back on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. So, yeah, so Ivy, I know we talked about it last night, but let's go talk to Umbreon Espeon first thing this morning. I want to tell them we're here to help however we can. I think they should still be in that Swanish place. Let's go, Snivy. Okay, so we're gonna go help Umbreon and Espeon. So, yeah, let's go to Post Town where they are probably staying. Okay, um. Hello, Imanga. Okay. Uh, oh, they'd be upstairs. Um, won't they? Huh? They're not here. Did they leave already? So why don't you know where they went? The beds are made of hay. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna go down to Swana. Okay. What? Umbreon and Espeon? They've gone up the hill, I believe. I thought it was a fine idea. Sure, they're not completely well, but they could use a little fresh air. Okay, so, they're on top of the hill. So let's go see them. Yeah, they're up here because the music stopped. Ah, there they are. I'm bringing this beyond. Is it okay to be up and moving already? I was a bit worried myself, but they seem to be doing just fine. Of course we are. We're feeling loads better than see you all. But we can't just lie around. We'll lose our momentum. After all, we are so close to completing our research. Really? Well, that's good to hear. In fact, it's it's your research that we came to talk about today. Snivy and I were talking it over last night, and we will, well, we both want to help you to out uh, with your work. Uh, what do you think? Will we be any help? Ah, if you think we'd just be in the way, you can you can say so. Uh, oh oh oh. Uh, no. It's not that. I wasn't thinking anything like that. I'm thrilled in, in fact with your offer to help, so then, what is it? The truth is that we also had a bit of a talk last night and, well, we want to ask you something. What's that? Yeah, about that. What would you think about letting us join you? So they want to join our team. Okay, really? You want to join our uh, uh, join our team? We do, of course. Of course, wanting to repay you for all you've done is a part of it, but that's not the only reason. We're hoping you might lend us your strength to achieve our dr our own dream. If we do manage to complete the entry cards and we successfully sam summon the Magnegate, Snivy and Oshawott, we we w want you to go to the Great Glacier with us. What? The cool Pokemon are going with Umbreon and Espeon through a Magnegate and to the Great Glacier, you say? Mm-hmm. Everybody just, like, came out of nowhere. Where are you all eavesdropping? S seriously, you guys. We've nearly completed our research now, so the two of us can handle that just fine. But the Great Glacier is still a complete unknown after all. We have no idea what might happen there. If the two of us went alone, I don't know that we would make it back. But if we were with the cool Pokemon, then we should be able to focus on our study of the Glacier without any worries. I know this may be a great inconvenience to you all, but... Or you must be busy pursuing your own adventures, but no way. We we'd love to have you join us, Snivy. You think so too, right? Awesome! You're actually gonna go to the Great Glacier. What? 
great adventure might be awaiting there, I get chills just thinking about it. Seems like there'll be there'll be more business for me if you go. There's gotta be a ton of ice, right? With a name like Great Glacier. I wanna try making a house out of that ice. Bring me back anything that looks like it could be be good for building. Boss, I hate to be the one to bring everything down, but, you know, they haven't decided to go to the Great Glacier for sure yet, right? What? Yeah, that's true, huh? I mean, Snivy hasn't even agreed or nothing. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me now. Oh, you will agree, won't you, Snivy? Snivy, you can't possibly, you can't possibly be thinking of saying no. Uh, ha, <laughs> Or don't take it to heart, and be honest, be on. You know our strange old Snivy, always getting hung up on absolute nonsense. He he he. Just give me one second, would you? Now you listen to me for a sec, Snivy. Okay, the Great Glacier is like an adventurer's ultimate qu adventurer's ultimate quest. It's a land that no one has ever set foot on. You could be the first Pokemon ever to go and find out what's there if you. If you're really an adventurer, you'll go. No matter how dangerous it is, you'll go. You can't ruin this chance for us, you got it? Wait, wait, I wasn't hesitating or worrying or anything. Everyone just kept jumping in with their own assumptions, so I never even got to the chance to say yes. So what are you going to do, Snivy? Do you want to let Embryon and Espeon join our team? Uh, hmm, what should I say? Will you let Umbreon and Espeon join the team? Of course. Of course. Snivy. Alright. I guess that decides then. Umbreon, Espeon. You are you are now officially members of the cool Pokemon. Yay! We'll be on the same team from now on, huh? D do your best, Umbreon and Espeon. It's kind of exciting to get new team members, huh? Welcome aboard, you two. Thank you all. I'm so relieved you'll have us. Thanks everyone, really. But, while I feel a bit bad saying it right after you've let us join your team, like I said before, we're so close to being done with our research. So for now, we know. We feel the same way after all. Right now, we can, we all just want you to focus on your research. It's, it's fine. You don't, if you don't join the party, for any requests right now. Thanks. If we complete our research and perfect perfect the in enter cards, we'll be sure to let you know at once. Please let us know too, huh? I wanna see um what these enter cards can do. Yeah, no way I'm missing that. Of course. Alright. Then the rest of us should just focus on doing jobs from the board for now. That'll give Umbreon and Espeon time to f get their research done, and when they do complete the cards, we're going all together uh, to the Great Glacier. Yay! <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, uh, we are going to go do some more uh, requests. So let's just go do that right now. Oh jeez, I just hit my hockey table. If you didn't actually know, I do have a hockey table in my room. I got it for Christmas. I didn't. I didn't even ask for. It. I just got it for Christmas. Check the bulletin, bulletin board. Yes, and I don't even play on it really. Uh, there's three more requests for Ragon Mountain. The particular key, somebody. We're gonna do a particular key, somebody. Yes, we're gonna go right away. Uh, Clash of Clans just told me that my shield's about to run out. Okay, the request gate is now open. Good luck with your job. Okay, so do you want to depart? Yes, I do want to depart. Okay, that, that's just weird. Okay, uh, we are here at Ragon Mountain, which is probably just going like, to take two seconds to actually get through this place. Are you ready to go ahead? Yes, I am. Ragged Mountain Eastern Cave. 
Uh, here we go. We got some coins. We're gonna see what's down this way. This way. Uh, anything at all? Hello? I haven't run into any Pokemon. Usually I run into enemies. Uh, what's down this way? I haven't oh my gosh, the stairs right here. I wasn't looking at the map. Here we go, we got an enemy. Boom! Look at Tackle, how much it freaking has. Guess I'd like to go on. Tackle's like completely red. So, yeah. Gonna move on, because it's gonna take two seconds. It's probably gonna tell me that the key's on this floor. Yep, you right on the floor where the particular key is. Okay, yeah, look at look at all my moves. You got they're like completely red. I'm pretty sure they were like fully green in the last video, but I I just I did see the stairs there. But we need to find the key, so yeah. We're not going here. Hello. We need Vine Whip on you. Vine Whip is upgraded. Pretty sure it got upgraded in the last video. Or maybe it's because of the fight with uh, uh, Toxic Croak and uh, Krogon. I think that's why. That was easy. Uh, we got an Ornberry. Hello, Clink. Boom. Uh, what? No. That's the dead end. What is this place lead to? Come on. The particular key. Oh, I found it. Take it. You found our quested item. Great job. You're about to escape from the dungeon. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Yay. Success. Uh, yeah. We shell gone. Thanks for getting the particular key. I'll give you this as a reward. Received a hundred coins. Lustrous metal. Received rich soil. Received warp seed. And 20 paradise points. Would you like to save your adventure? I'll do it. I'll save my adventure. Your adventure will be saved. Please do not turn off the power. Save complete. It's nighttime. We're going to be having a discussion, I think. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> okay, something outside's happening. Ooh, who's that? No, it's a poke. Oh, it's done sparse. Is this seat taken? Ah! V Verizon! Eat. Sorry for scaring you. Do you mind me being here? N not, not a bit. Ha ha. So what's the matter? Hang out, hang out up here all alone at this time of night. I, I wanted to try to remember the mirage we saw from before the mirage of the Great Glacier. So I thought that maybe if I came back. Here to the same spot, I'd remember it better. You really want to go, don't you? To the Great Glacier. Yeah, I really do. I want to become a first-rate adventurer. Then I want to go all around the world helping helping out Pokemon in need. I want to be able to give hope and courage to Pokemon who are suffering. That's my dream. Uh, I, I, I mean, sorry. Does, does that sound strange? No, it's not strange at all. I will, I won't laugh at you anymore, I promise. I'm sorry about the way I acted that time. It was rude. Oh, that's fine. Ho, ho. Man, I just can't get to sleep. This walk didn't seem to be helping either. Huh? Isn't that Verizon? Oh, and Dunsparce too? Whoa, but why am I hiding? I don't know why, but my heart is kind of racing here. But really, I wonder what they're doing up there at this hour. 
And that's why I have a dream like that. But the gap between dreams is... Reality is, hu reality is huge. No matter what I do, it's... It just always seems to go wrong. But since I joined the cool Pokemon, and after meeting everybody, I feel like that's finally beginning to change. That's not what I... That's not, I mean... I'm still bad at all kinds of things, of course. But, well, it's not exactly confidence, but I feel like I can try harder these days without losing heart. And now that I started feeling like this, it turns out we're off to the Great Glacier. You know that what, Verizon? What, when I first heard you, uh, heard we were going, I thought... I definitely want to go there. I really did. I feel like I'll be able to have all kinds of new experiences there. I feel like I'll be able to break out of my shell at last, and that's why that's why I definitely want to go to the Great Glacier. There's no way I'll miss it. I see. I think you're really growing a lot, Dunsparce. Maybe this is one of those times in life that you just keep absorbing new experiences. I hope you'll find something wonderful at the Great Glacier. I'll be cheering for you. R really? Of course. Do your best. I, I will. I really will. I'm gonna give it all my all. It's gonna be nothing you'll, you've ever seen. Ho ho. And they're just there talking. Well, um, it'd be way too awkward to go out there now, but I've been thinking Dunsparce seems a bit more cheerful lately, so that's it. I guess uh, he's finally learning to believe in himself. Well, if that if that's what's going on here, then I've got to cheer him on too. We'll do our best and go to the Great Glacier together. Just you wait, Dunsparce. The next morning, dot, dot, dot. Morning, Snivy. Let's give it all again today. Okay, so, yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Quagsire, what are you doing here? What is it? Uh, uh, ah! Uh, did something happen? The, the truth is... I just realized something dire. You remember how everyone was all you're go all going to the Great Glacier, huh? And then everybody yelled, "Yeah, huh?" Everyone was all pumped up, but but I didn't think about it then. And I've just realized that I forgot something important. I've got to talk to you all at once. I don't really get it, but all right. I'll get everyone together. What? Someone has to stay behind? Mm-hmm. I think... I think it'll... I think it'll be a long journey to the Great Glacier. And you probably won't be able to return for several days. The fact is that these are things called... Mm, the happy laws and according to them whenever you are going on a long journey you must leave at least one member behind it's a serious rule no way about it around it what what but that means it means problematic for happy if it's problematic for happy if they cannot reach your team for a long time Apparently, there was some sort of disagreement because of because of it in the past, and so this law was put in place. That's what I've heard. If you do not follow the happy laws, your team badges will be revoked and your team disbanded. They are quite strict about these things. And so, my dear cool Pokemon, you need to pick one of your members to stay behind. It, it is a terrible blow after everyone is so excited. That's ri ridiculous. 
I wanted us all to go together, but if our team is disbanded, it will it will all have been for nothing. So I guess we'll, we've got no choice. Well, whoever gets left behind, if you get lonely, just come see me. Me and my V wheel. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. We'll turn that frown upside down. Dude, you're so annoying. <laughs> I I totally agree with Scraggy. I'm good at staying upbeat. That's a great bikini. At any rate... Now the question is, who will stay behind? It's gotta be the weakest member, right? I mean, that just makes sense. The weakest... Member... Yeah, I guess it does make sense. The Great Glacier is a complete unknown after all. No one knows what will be there. But I think there's there will be plenty of danger. Strength has nothing to do with it. I know every venturer really wants to go to the Great Glacier, and yet to have to force someone to stay behind? This is awful. I really, w I really do want everyone to be able to go. But there's nothing we can do about this one. The weakest member will stay behind. I knew it. I should be the one to stay behind. Huh? What's wrong, Dunsparce? I... I... He can't play, be planning to. Ah! Stop, Dunsparce, you don't... I'll stay behind. What? What? Verizon, don't think I'm not interested in, in going to the Great Glacier. It sounds amazing, but I get cold really easily. And I don't really like walking into danger. So I'll just stay here in paradise. I'll see you later. Alright! My lovely Verizon is staying. Truth is, I was thinking... What would I do if my lovely, lovely Verizon went away and left me here? But now I don't have to go through none of that heartbreak. Gur, Gurder, Wah ha 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 ha! What could have happened? Verizon's always pretty cool, and she doesn't tend to show her emotions much. But it seems like she wanted to go to the Great Glacier more than anyone else. Snivy Oshawott. I don't like this. Why did things have to end up this way? Yeah, but what can we do? In, even if we change Ryzen's mind, it doesn't change the fact that someone's got to stay behind. Do you think we got to tell Umbreon and Espeon about this? Yeah. Snivy? You'll go talk to them, right? I think they're up on the hill working on their research. When you're ready to talk to, to them, Dunsparce, and I will go with you. Okay, so somebody has to stay behind. That kind of sucks, and Verizon just said that she'll do it. Um, so we're going to go tell uh, Espeon and Umbreon about this. Ah, Snivy. You've all come at a great moment. We think we've just about got it. This time tomorrow, we'll be standing in front of gr the Great Glacier. What? Really? Yes, really. It's something to look forward to. Tomorrow is the day we all go to the Great Glacier together. Together. Well, you see, that's actually why we're here. What? We can't all go to the Great Glacier? And you say Verizon volunteered to stay behind? Yeah. That's what it looks like. I get that someone has to be the one to stay behind, but it can't be Verizon. Huh, why? You all, well, you all know Verizon doesn't like making friends, right? Yeah, we know about that. Why? There's a reason she feels that way. What reason? You see, Verizon did have a friend once. His name was Keldio. 
But Francelio went off to the Great Glacier, and then all sign of him was lost. He went to the Great Glacier. Verizon was so worried that she kept searching for any sign of his fate, but in the end, she never found a thing. Then after what some time, she revealed, received a letter. It was from Keldio. Apparently, this is what the letter said. The truth is that I've never even intended to go to the Great Glacier. I moved my DS screen. I just wanted an excuse to get away from you. We aren't friends anymore. Just forget about me. What? So, wait. He didn't go to the Great Glacier after all? Who cares about that? the stupid glacier? What kind of garbage is that? Saying he just wanted to get away from Verizon. Saying that they weren't friends anymore. The shock that Verizon must have felt when she read that, I can't even imagine. That feeling of stunned disbelief and desire to keep believing anyway. Those feelings became jumbled up until you don't know what to trust any longer. Verizon told us it was because of the te that terrible experience that she stopped believing in friendship. We met Verizon all after all of this had really happened. She, when she was found... When she found out about our research, she told us what had happened. She asked us to make her to the great... She asked us to take her to the Great Glacier with us. I think she still hasn't given up on Keldeo. She probably thought she would... She could find something if she went to the Great Glacier. And you say she volunteered not to go. I just can't believe that. Especially now... Not now that she's become so cheerful again. Not cheerful Verizian. She was nothing like this when we first met her, I I'll have you know. I would guess her first time here in Post Town has changed Verizian. Verizian. Joining the cool Pokemon, meeting all of you. I think it has helped her regain the strength to trust in other Pokemon. And despite all of that, earned that Verizian! What does she think she's doing? At any rate, I'm planning to take her with us. Whether she likes it or not. So that's why Bryson didn't want to be friends with anyone, huh? But man, that Keldeo guy pulled a real number on her. Lying about... Lying about going to the Great Glacier and then abandoning abandoning her like that. It's totally unforgivable. Huh? I thought you didn't t like Verizon, right, Malga? N no, I don't like her. Not at all, but still. That doesn't change the fact that that this Keldia guy is ser seriously awful. So Verizon really want wanted to go to the Great Glacier as well. But she went and she went and insisted on staying behind like that. It's got to be because of that talk we had. I hope you'll find something wonderful at the Great Glacier. I'll be cheering for you. Really? Of course. Do your best. I, I will. I really will. I'm going to give it all my all. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen. Ho ho. Yeah, if only I hadn't said that. Verizon probably probably volunteered to, s to stay just so I'd get to go. But Verizon is the one who should really go to the Great Glacier. Hey everyone. I, I think Umbreon is right. I think Verizon should go to the Great Glacier after all. Dunsparce, you... And, and that's why. I'll... S no, wait. Okay, just wait, please. But... Malga's right. No matter who decides to stay, we aren't going to feel right about it. No one should try to deny their own feelings like Verizon isn't trying to do. That goes for you too, Dunsparce. Sniff. I I know. 
How about we leave the decision up to chance? You mean, like, draw straws or something? Yeah. We'll all draw straws to see who stays. Ryzen sh will draw too. And whoever gets the short straw is the one to stay in paradise. We're never going to feel right if somebody volunteers to stay behind, right? So wouldn't it be better if we just left it all up to luck? Then it'll be random. Random, huh? Maybe that really is the best way to handle this. And if Ryzen seems to be the one who draws the short straw, then she'll be the one to stay behind after all. If that happens, I'll just have to talk Umbreon into accepting it. I can make the straws for everyone tonight. What do you think, Oshawa? Hm. To be honest, I don't really love the idea, but there doesn't seem to be any other solution, so... Alright, I'll get him ready to by tomorrow. See ya! Well, this isn't a great solution, but I don't know what else we can do. I guess we'd better just do our work today and get ready for tomorrow. So, yeah, that, there we go. We're going to have a drawing next episode to see who is going to stay. I already think I know who's going to stay. Because I've seen something that's, like, shown about it. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Crowbat. Stay cool. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.